can I have a grande iced vanilla soy latte? Uh, I drink the coffee because of the taste, mm -hmm. and it obviously uh, it's me started for the day. I started drinking coffee in seventh grade because I'm like not at all a morning person. Um, I get headaches sometimes if I don't drink coffee. I, I do rely on it now because I'm addicted. We came up with an idea for a board game cafe a few years ago and got it up and running. We kind of thought that College Park needed a cafe sort of environment, but we have a pretty broad customer base. We have a lot of uh, professors that come in, families come in during the day on the weekends. Uh, we have a lot of people in their 20s and 30s who come, but uh, I'd say about 50% of the students. I usually drink coffee as soon as I wake up, and then usually at some point in the afternoon. Uh, I try to keep it at one cup a day, but around this time it's two cups a day. Uh, normally you brew coffee with the grounds and then pouring hot water through them. Uh, heat kills the caffeine. Cold brew keeps a lot of the caffeine intact. It's a lot less bitter and it's a lot more potent than Coffee. I drink my coffee black, so I like. So I'm really picky about what type of um, roast it is, and I like medium roast. And um, if I go to places like Ford and Brew, Starbucks doesn't really have this, but at Ford and Brew they have like pour over coffee. Pour over is different than regular coffee because a talented barista like myself spends time making sure that all the grounds are exposed to the same amount of water, so it's a very even cut. I start off by adding just a little bit of water, about like 30 grams, to the coffee grinds, and that lets them blue. It like grows, and it lets all of the flavors meld and come together. And then after it blooms, I add water, trying to keep the same ratio of water, so like whatever's dripping out is how much I add to it. It creates a really great cup of coffee. Oh, that's a good way to get you going in the morning. You can go to bed a little later, because you know you're going to coffee to wake you up. And I guess the quality of coffee is going up in a lot of coffee shops. So, you know, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, you didn't find that much quality coffee. Uh, even Starbucks uses like, blends of coffees that are pretty good. They're a, little bit, they're a step up from like the diner coffee that you would get in the past, but um, it's really gone a step beyond even that. Uh,